Hello, and welcome to In the Studio. I'm your host today, Martha Teeter, and I want to tell you today uh, uh, about the new Big Blue Barn Landfill Thrift Store that's going to be opening up. So my guest today is Pamela Hedrick, and she Hi. is the Waste Reduction Recycling Coordinator for Yolo County. That's correct. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to have you. Yeah, so this is a really an exciting venture. So a, a, a landfill, a thrift store at the landfill. Yeah. Yeah, it's... so tell me about how it works. Uh, well, uh, we work at the thrift store, but we also work at the landfill, so we see a lot of good stuff coming into the landfill, stuff that is totally usable, mm -hmm. and we ask people if they would like to donate it, and if they do, awesome. We ask them to, you know, we show them where, that they, can, where they can take it, yeah. and, uh, and then we put it in our thrift store, so someone else's trash can be somebody else's treasure. Huh, wow. So if so actually they don't need to make a special trip out if but if they're going to the landfill and they have stuff, you'll also look over it. So that is true. Right. Yeah. And I guess um there's special opportunity to bring stuff in good condition, maybe some larger things, like uh, there's this large basket over here, maybe some things our other thrift stores don't take. That, a uh, lot of furniture. A lot of uh, other thrift cool. stores don't have the space for furniture. Yeah. So uh, large amois, tables, chairs. We have wow. a lot of those things. Great. I even see some of those stuff put out on the curb, too. Yeah. So they could just take it down and someone else could uh, make good use of it. Yeah. That's uh, great. Pet, pet products is another one, like uh, dog crates and kennels oh, and gates. Yeah. So uh, we do have a lot mm, of those items. Interesting, yeah. great. So we have some stuff in the studio that you've gotten in already. I guess the store is taking donations, although I guess it's not quite open. But see, let's take a look at some yeah. of the things you've got. So someone <coughs> dropped this off in e-waste, because we take e-waste at the landfill. Yeah. Um, so this is um, a tire mobility kit it's brand new, hasn't even been opened or used, and apparently they didn't need it anymore, so we can certainly use this in our thrift store. Great. Um, other, we've, we've got some toys here. Do you have toys? Cute little toys. Yeah. Um, the Woodland Toy Library went out of business, so they yeah. donated items for us Great. to sell. Um, brand new, other items. Uh, this is a, a, a dish drainer, um, but it's still in the original That's box. That's for baby bottles, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, you know, fixtures for your, for your bathroom. Yeah. Um, we also get a lot of lights, mm -hmm. Christmas oh, lights. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Christmas globes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, also some other items that are tools. We do get a lot of tools. Uh, this uh -huh. is a caulking gun, mm -hmm. brand new. Uh, it it's, will be sold at our thrift store. Great. So, um, That's fantastic. Well, yeah. so when is your uh, thrift store open? Well, we're open um, on a every other month event basis because mm -hmm. uh, it takes us time to gather all these items mm -hmm. um, and we clean them up a bit and then stage them in our thrift store. So our mm -hmm. next event is April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Okay. It's always over a three-day period, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, the hours are 9 to 3. And it is in the big blue barn, which is at the landfill. Okay. <laughs> That's how it got its That's name. That's how it got its name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and we can see a picture up there of the, the blue, big, big blue, blue barn. Big blue barn, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we'll be open for those three days. Uh -huh. And on Sunday is always our half price day. So everything oh. in the store, whatever the prices are, mm -hmm. everything is half off. Oh. So we kind of want the inventory to move because uh -huh. we're going to have two months to gather no new stuff. I see. And then, uh, you know, kind of clean out the store and start oh, fresh. Oh, okay. So you'll like, you'll have the store open every couple of months mm -hmm. uh, and meanwhile be accumulating be Accumulating stuff. new stuff. Yeah, and I was surprised the landfill is really not that far from us uh, here right now in, in, uh, in East Davis. It's only 10 minutes, 10 minutes. away. Yeah. It's A lot of people quick. think it's really far yeah. and it's I mean, really not. Yeah. In my mind, it's really far. There's a nice map we yeah. have up to about yeah. it. Yeah. So um, uh, what's uh, okay and what's not okay to bring to the... Yeah. Um, I, we take uh, furniture, but we don't take upholstered furniture. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So we don't okay. want, you know, couches and chairs that have upholstery because okay. they're stored in a big blue barn, basically a big uh, building. Oh, and yeah. we have mice out there. It's mm -hmm. out in the country. Okay. And so things get ruined. And we'd yeah. rather just take, uh, you know, wood furniture. So nothing upholstered, uh -huh. um, no clothing, no um, uh, okay. things like that that okay. are unacceptable. Okay. So no clothes, no upholstered furniture. No children's car seats and no things that don't have all the pieces. Yes, yes. That is, that's yeah, that's a big that one. Can, actually, um, yeah, we get a lot of uh, the little uh, kids' toys that have uh, chargers, oh, and we don't and have, you the, don't chargers. have the chargers. Yeah. So yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's important. And so the things you can take, you can take bikes. You can take kids' toys, patio furniture, mm -hmm. uh, lumber. Uh, tile, old, you know, or tile that you don't need anymore, mm -hmm. so that people oh, can. Okay. Yeah. So building materials. Building materials. And yeah. a big place structure that. Yes. Yeah. Um, wooden furniture. We all. Uh, Cabinetry, mm -hmm. countertops, okay. sinks, faucets. A lot of people are just throwing that stuff away. Wow. So we certainly. And that could be re lumber too. Yeah, lumber yeah, also. Lumber could be reused yeah. too. Great. Yeah. So you have a really big. Um, selection of things you can take. That is very yeah. true. And, yeah, we and, have a large space, right. but we don't have a covered space. So we're yeah. working on that. But I yeah. see. Yeah. Okay, great. So, Good. Yeah. So um, uh, we also have a few slides of things that you now are collecting in yeah. your thrift store. Um, maybe some of those we can see are... some of these. Uh, so we've got bottles. And... Uh, yeah, housewares, housewares, a lot of knickknacks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some things are pretty. Garden uh, statues is another one, oh, or uh -huh. plant shelves. Okay. Um, so that's some. Um, what are some I think of the we've other got things? Books. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do have a large library of books, children's books and adult books. Yeah. Uh, you never know what you're going to find. Right. You know? So right. It's, it's fun looking through those. Yeah. Uh, a lot of baskets, a lot yeah. of, you know, like this one that is here. Yeah, um, the one in but, the studio. But yeah. we have a lot of other baskets. Um, picture frames, um, bulletin boards, a lot of office uh, equipment. So oh. a lot of offices have closed mm. and they've donated, uh, you know, like file folders and uh, the you know, the desk files that you might set on your desk, oh, yeah, a lot right, of desks right. and things like yeah. that. And, and then a children's toys. Yeah, larger children's toys yeah. could be. Um, baby things like swings and strollers. Mm. A lot of jogger strollers are, are out there. Mm. So, um, and we sell them, you know, at a really reduced cost. So, uh, you know, it's really, sm they're still in really good shape. Mm, so you can nice. come out and use them. Nice. Well, it's great to see that there is some way that some of these larger things can be uh, put to reuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So will this be the first opening of the thrift store? No, though? we actually opened last June oh, as our did? first day, but our oh. first opening. And we've had four events so far. Oh, okay. So this will be our fifth event. I see. And then we really want to get on a regular basis of opening every mm -hmm. other month mm -hmm. for a full weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just takes a lot of time to pull stuff out. We're out there pulling stuff out of oh, metals, yeah. a lot of bicycles uh, oh. that are thrown away because people think, you know, they're no good. They just need a little bit of tender, loving care. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. they can certainly be used again. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so you um, uh, kind of, did you like happen on this accidentally that you kept seeing all this stuff getting thrown away? Yes. And so you created this opportunity? Well, um, there's a few other stores in California. Uh, we modeled ours after it's called the Last Chance Mercantile, oh. and it's down in Monterey County. Oh, I see. And uh, we see so much good oh, stuff being thrown yeah. away that yeah. we're like, we need to do this. Wow. My yeah. supervisor and I, um, Marissa Jeweler, and myself both work for the county at mm -hmm. the landfill, mm -hmm. and we're like, we need to do something with all this, you know, good material and create a, a place where people can, uh, you know, use it again so it's not all being thrown away and wasted. Yeah. We have diverted um, about uh, 15 tons away from going into the landfill wow. already in just four events. Wow, so, that's great. Yeah, so that's, that's great. So it's really important that people know about this and kind of get it on their calendars. Yeah to get out there the 21st 
that'd be a uh, would be a Friday, sat, a Friday uh -huh. Saturday, and then on Sunday you have the the clearance sale. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's so, excellent. yeah, so. we really uh, want people to donate, too, because yeah. instead of us pulling That's out stuff thing. out of the trash, mm -hmm. we do need good usable donations mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Yeah. So please come out and the scale house will direct you. Yeah. You so this has sort of been on a pilot for a while. Yeah. And now we're ready to go public and attract, some attract. donations yeah. and yeah. also so. attract people to take advantage of it. Of the shopping. Yeah. yeah. Of the lawn shopping. mowers too. Uh, really? Actually, we've yeah. pulled lawn mowers out. So I, yeah, I keep wow. thinking of things. Wow. Yeah, That's so. amazing. Quite a lot of, of uh, good, usable, usable equipment. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. And for building particularly, I know there's always an issue about good building supplies that you want to have them not be thrown away, thrown but away, have yeah. another use to them. Um, and this is sort of related to uh, reuse but at the landfill we have a construction and demolition area where there's a lot oh, of wood yeah. that is thrown away oh. and we're actually chipping that wood and selling it uh, oh, for okay. uh, you know uh, mulch. For mulch? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah. So, so that's, that's good, an, another thing you can do when you're thing, yeah. picking up uh, <laughs> some of these goods. Yeah. You could get chips or any time you go to the landfill. Any time. The, the landfill how, is... How much are these? Are they, it's 25 uh, dollars a cubic yard mm -hmm. so and okay. there's there's plain natural color which is the brown okay or else they have uh, experimented with coloring so we oh, have okay. red and I think a, um, a black out there and you so. have to bring your own container then you for, do yeah yeah a pickup okay. truck for a yeah. cubic cubic yard I see. so okay I've also seen uh, some wood too you firewood also firewood yes we're selling firewood now yeah. But the thrift store, uh, you know, we do sell two by fours and, you know, other That's pieces. That's inside of, in, the, yeah. mm -hmm, the, yeah. the thrift store. Great. So let's remind people once again of when and where. Uh, April 21st to 23rd, 9, 9 to 3 p.m. That's correct. 9 and to 3. Uh, there's a lovely map out there um, showing major arteries with, I think, the landfills in orange right there. The big blue barn peeking over the uh, over. <laughs> over the words, yes. uh, so you should be able to spot it right away. Is that a building you put up new? Uh, no, it it was uh, put up years ago for oh, storing okay. hazardous waste oh, when we okay. collected you hazardous waste. It. But we have repurposed That's great. That's right. excellent. Another yeah. reuse example, and that just happens to be Earth Day weekend. So That's why we. Did it's a it. wonderful yeah. opportunity to. Uh, to Reuse. recognize yeah. the fact that we have limited resources on our That's right. earth and we have to reuse everything, particularly manufactured stuff like this, that's already taken a lot of energy to manufacture. Yeah. And uh, so instead of throwing them throwing away, away, we're, we're going to you know, have it available for people to, right, to get. Give them a new life. Yes. Great. Wow. Well, I, uh, this is a really exciting opportunity. I hope that everybody uh, takes advantage of this and uh, finds a way to get out there on Earth Day weekend. And so uh, yeah, <laughs> and also think, keep it in mind when you have things that are reusable that you could uh, take them out to the landfill and donate them to make this even more effective. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, I want to thank, thank you. you so much for coming to tell us about it. This is a really exciting event. Thank you and for another me. way we can uh, make our uh, the little resources that we have here go further. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for joining us today. Shh.